remembers the name Shirley Temple. <laughs> Well, from 1932 to 1947, that's when she was a movie star. And she was the biggest thing MGM ever had as far as child, child uh, stars. In those 16 years, she made 45 movies. That's a record that still tells me how to today. 45 movies in 16 years. That means she's making three movies a year. She finished one movie. They, they'd send her out maybe across the state for a couple of days, doing promotion and right back into the studio. And because both of her parents were luscious, they said, we'll look after your money for you. <laughs> and uh, when you retire, we'll, we'll give you the money. And they gave her a little allowance, you know? Well, by the time she was 22, she was well and truly burnt out. She says, I don't want to do this anymore. <laughs> so she told uh, Samuel, Goldwyn and Louis B. Mayer of Metro Goldwyn Mayer Studios, I don't want to do it anymore. And they said, well, you can't quit. We have a contract for you. You know, you've signed it for the next four years. You can't get out. I said, well, I don't want to do it anymore. I'm burned out. I really don't want to do it anymore. They said, well, all right, come back to the studio tomorrow at, at two o'clock and we'll pay you out. We realize we have to hold some money back from your contract. Well, she reckoned uh, she made about $2.6 million. I mean, that's more than Rachel and I are making tonight. <laughs> it's a lot of money. It's a lot of money. So she reckoned she was all, all ordered uh, $2.6 million, but the, the, she went into the office and the, the very business side and a couple of lawyers on each side, and they said, well, we've done the accounting. You know, you've had managers, you've had all these tours, and we've deducted the cost of hotels and plane flights and food and they virtually charge it for the film that was in the camera. They gave her a check. I'm not making this up. This is in her autobiography. $46,500. And so that she took them to court, and uh, no one went against uh, Metro Golden Mayor in 1947. That was really iron fisted rule. And she lost the court case, so she had to pay more money. So she ended up with about $40,000 after 16 years of work. Plus, she was getting a little allowance, but I thought that was. Uh, Ridiculous. Anyway, uh, in 1934, she made a movie called, uh, what was it called? Uh, funny, funny name. Uh, regardless, in, in 1934, she made a movie. Uh, and this song was introduced to the listening public called On the Good Ship Lollipop. <laughs> and she's known for this song, written by Richard Whiting in 1934, in the, in the same year the movie came out. Um, I'm not important to the name of the movie, but uh, no, I don't. anyway, here's the good ship lollipop.